AI is really making leaps, huh? So now that programs can produce an original art, they can produce original piece of music, why not producing a whole entire AR artist and a singer? Not entirely improbable, and maybe eventually a new standard, but today we're gonna look at a very real human artist, but she's gonna be singing as her VTuber model, or as her avatar on the first take. So I am excited. I know that Sony in Japan has been recently very heavily investing into VTubers, especially in music. So I am just excited to see what is uh, the result of this project, because I think having an opportunity to completely disconnect from something that you have to represent with your face and the scrutiny that you are under as a human you can completely disconnect that from your art and actually perform as an avatar or as a vtuber which if you ask me it is the best of both worlds so i'm excited to see it let's go okay so here's the thing i can no longer go off of her mimic i can no longer go off of how she is positioning her mouth, her jaw. I can only go off of the sound because even though this this VTuber model is actually really, really impressive, I'm really curious how much of the face movement they're going to be able to map precisely. We're going to see. I'm excited. a very human breath no worries a lot of people are like is that ai singing no but it's really intriguing right all right well that was that was a tone that was a tone we can immediately spot the japanese singing style right from the get-go it's going to be probably incredibly powerful and there's going to be a lot of power play. Um, I loved the mixed space where she started. Then she went uh, down into warmer chesty space. But on the way up, the tone, instead of re-entering that mixy space that she started in, that was already pretty substantial, she actually went for a little bit of a strained belt. There are a couple of Japanese singers that do play with the strain a little bit here and there. They do create some of those sounds on purpose. It is a very thin ice to walk on because as an artist, is you have to know how much your vocal cords can handle and how much is part of your art and like a singing art and how much is it actually that can hurt you so for example lisa is one of those amazing examples of um occasional strain on purpose and how to do it properly let's hear Stella, Stella. really nice switches between registers that, that was very typical yodel right but the interesting thing was how much she was able to stabilize it into that vibrant tone when she switched back to the chest her model is adorable she has like a little stars in her eyes Okay, so of course, there's not enough uh, face mapping. I know that there are some like um, VTuber models out there that like map your face more precisely. This is more of like probably like a stylistic avatar. So we do not see a lot of actual facial movement. So I'm just not going to comment on that whatsoever. But I really like her natural relaxed tone. This entire passage was in the very relaxed, natural, slightly airy tone. And you could hear some warmth coming through. But the most impressive thing for me so far is how powerful and how stabilized her jumps between her registers are especially that one jump into the head and then the really really strong landing this is really cool 
立たさの匂いかどうしようもなくに暮らしくて部屋の隅で膝を抱えて震えていた太陽なんて Good work with dynamics there She finishes her phrases with a cry, but it's mainly because her voice is un under so much pressure in there. She is singing heavily on edge. I do believe that this is on purpose. Like stylistically, it's really mind blowing when you listen to a piece like this and person singing like this, right? It does remind me a little bit of a TK, right? Like that's complete singing on edge that gives you that emotional impact. To me. Oh, listen to the warmth, it's beautiful. That was not in strain, for example. That was a beautiful mix, and I would prefer her, her to sing in that space much more because that was gorgeous. That was very nicely supported. I was just about to say that her passaggio is really nice. It, it was really chunky. It's definitely trained a lot. She's incredibly comfortable in it as well. You know, a lot of people do have a certain kind of power over their passaggio like they have a, enough skill to move across it uh, basically quite fluently but uh, it's also a lot about trust <laughs> trust in your own abilities it does take a lot of confidence so for some singers it takes a little bit longer to really build their trust into their skill and passaggio <laughs> That was a tiny little bit strained. Again, I do believe that she's using strained tones uh, on purpose. So she picks and chooses where she's going to use it. And she does push that sound forward on purpose. But her voice is very, very resonant. I really like it. It does have a lot of power, the clarity. And also, I like how she uses her kind of break point in her passaggio. But she chooses to make that break occasionally very visible i think it's really cool i love that about like a lot of japanese singers do that and i think it's incredible <laughs> Listen to that, it's so animated. Like she's telling of the story, right? The dynamics in her lower passages, beautiful. One thing that you do not want to abandon as a singer in lower passages, a lot of people just let go and they get to the most monotone and just like very flat space, right? She is coloring it. She goes from whisper to uh, a little bit of air, some huskiness. She does paint the picture. I love that about her. And there were a couple of really uncomfortable vowels like uh, uh, like what is even the vowel i know that it is very um like japanese is a different language they have uh, some of different vowels than just a e o u which is what we usually train 
So some of them are more closed, some of them are more open, but a lot of times I hear people singing in this very closed vowels that are really hard to develop. And I'm like, oh my God, that's hard. <laughs> Oh, beautiful tone. That, that one was great. You made me really gorgeous mixed belts. Like, she knows how to use her passaggio so well. Basically, 90% of this song is in her passaggio, not 90, but like 70% of the song is in her passaggio, and she's doing great. She's actually using it very stylistically, like, in a very interesting way. Also, it really does help that this song has just descending notion all over it. So usually you, you're starting from a higher tone and you're kind of going down. So the most tension is immediately on the first tone, right? Sometimes when I struggle with my students and they struggle with uh, achieving really high tones, they have like this mental block from them. We start from the higher tones and descend from there. So the descending motion of this entire song is really cool. It's very helpful, definitely, especially for that much of kind of agility that she's doing with her voice without getting in trouble. hear that going from a little bit of a kind of restricted space ah, you can hear ah, right the vibrato is not very glorified in in you know in eastern culture that much i think that in you know in western one so you don't find tons of vibrato overall in japan but <laughs> does have a tiny little bit of hint of that and there's restriction she's holding it on purpose because she's kind of she wants to keep that straight tone straight piercing clean tone i'm gonna replay just a little bit And you know what? The interesting thing is that I really don't feel like I want to see exactly the face of the person singing this. This was actually really, really fascinating and fun experience. I like I really don't mind that I cannot point the person on the street like, hey, that's the one on, from the first take that sang Stellar Stellar. You know, I was able and I did a lot of reactions on this channel, right? And it's sometimes really hard for me to completely defocus from the person because a lot of performance uh, performers have insane charm right so they kind of pull you in but here i feel like i could really fully focus just on that 
kind of sound picture that she was painting and uh, she reminds me of people who un unlock <laughs> kind of their passage they get more comfortable with that and they start to get a lot of strength there because yes passage can absolutely be this strong the mixed voice can be absolutely this strong i really enjoy that it does give her a huge dynamic range to work with from the very airy very soft tones to these like piercing overwhelming mixed belts and also one thing that most people are super insecure about which is their voice break she was definitely using it a lot in her advantage kind of almost showing it off like doing a little yodel here and there or like just jumping through that break up into her head voice and vice versa very cool so let me know your opinion about this type of performance do you enjoy vtubers do you like these types of performances are you up or do you really need to see the person i do i so let me know down in the comments and if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe right here here is the video details of actually recommends for you and here is the rest of my japanese reactions please stay safe and healthy i'll see you next time Bye-bye.